would be fast asleep would right now. Yeah. yeah, I would be dead to the world and um, just dreading that school f that yeah. call from school, which says, "I'm really sorry, nothing really to worry about, but one of the children's sick. Could you come uh, and pick them up?" Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, "Yes, of course, of course." Did you have a little set? You know, I go home, go to sleep, and then. Yeah, you know, just do two hours yeah. and you can sleep at night. Exactly. So I'm, I'm well versed see, in this, obviously, because of my husband. Because but... Eamon does yeah. pretty much mm. exactly the same yeah. hours, doesn't yeah. he? So um, you know about, you know, um, when I get home, it's all about just getting some energy, yeah. getting some food, because I find it really hard to eat before the programme. Um, and then, you know, it is almost like my completely precious time between two, 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock, those two hours, mm. just yeah. sleep. And is yeah. it lovely to be here with us and not on the couch with Piers Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's Piers watching. Yeah. Yeah. Now you've bed, been be very fine. quiet this week. Do you know why? Yes. Because Piers had a choice. is quite... <laughs> it is fantastic working with him. But he is a force of nature, yeah, he is. isn't he? It's, it's like, that it's code for he has a very big ego <laughs> and there's hardly <laughs> any room for me on that sofa. It's really code for he's like, it's like sitting next to a mini tornado. Mm -hmm. And I think whenever anyone gets interviewed by him, they feel like they've been through a tornado. Oh. You should see the looks on guest faces mm -hmm. after they've been interviewed by Piers, because they're like, what just happened? <laughs> so there's been quite a few looks on your face. Should we have a look? <laughs> awesome. Here's you both in action. This is very this morning, actually. Do you think we look like that? You Tom, and Susanna? Yeah, me, protective. Mm. The man figure. The slightly nightmarish kangaroo <laughs> kind of character. And me, the, the soft, pound. helpless bunny <laughs> that you're grabbing by the throat. That, really is, a, that is the image of the week for me. <laughs> what do you think? Um, <laughs> it's a real privilege working with him, though. You know, he's he's been there, done it. You know, it, it's incredible the kind of career he's had. Mm. And then, you know, it's just fantastic. It brings a whole new energy to the programme. And I'm um, very much looking forward to working with him again tomorrow. I, I have the day off on Friday. Looks like I might need yeah, it. Just have yeah. Yeah. I might need more than that two hours sleep on Friday. <laughs> and then Ben's back on Monday. He oh, smiles. Uh, <laughs> no, it's been brilliant. It has been really Are you fantastic. worried that Piers is going to write about you behind your back? Because that's his most famous trait, isn't it? Well, I thought I'd better do some research before I start presenting with him. So I, I was reading his memoirs. And at all the sort of tricky moments of his life, yeah. you know, obviously people have emailed him, you know, offering support. And then, of course, in the book, he just prints out the emails. You know, this is what people said at this particular time. Oh or, you know, and, and you just know that whatever you say yeah. to Piers could he's be definitely out chapter there, seven of the now book. He has teased you a lot about flirting with him. He's obviously yes. kind of picked this subject because... He's got a very has, vivid imagination. Well, it, has, it obviously it has been reported a lot. You know, oh, you flirted with David Beckham, you flirted with the Prime Minister. What is that David Beckham? The thing is that you only have to smile at somebody and then you're accused of flirting with yeah. them, which means I'm going to get into so much trouble with you four women. <laughs> 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 what are they going to make a nice thing of you? Press coverage is vaguely sexist because they never write about a man that way, but they write about women that way. You I want to ask it, you about it? Twitter. We were yeah. talking about it earlier uh, and Sue Perkins coming off Twitter. When you moved from the BBC to ITV, uh, and you started here, you got really, really trolled, didn't you? How did you cope with it? Um, it I think we all do, don't we? I mean, <laughs> I heard you talking about it, and mm, Jamelia, you yeah. talking about it earlier. Mm. I think it's shocking, some of the <laughs> things which are said on Twitter. But I think, you know, in amongst the mix, it is the minority yeah. of tweets you get which can be hurtful or aim to be hurtful. And actually, the overwhelming majority of stuff is positive yeah. and lovely yeah. and you have do you have the, like it. janet said but death i have yeah, no i've never no. had a death threat but i've you know people have said things which you know people have said things which are nasty and they would never dream of saying them to your face of never course. dream of saying them to your face and i think sometimes you know Piers makes a joke that his way of dealing with it because he gets a you know yeah. a yeah. lot of flack on twitter is that he corrects their spelling yeah, yeah. and yeah. there's a sort of there's something quite disarming about that <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah, it yeah. not only do i not care what you've said but you spelt it wrong yeah, I've, <laughs> I've done that that's the kind of thing i do yeah. winds them up even more though yeah. <laughs> and of course there is the mute button which mm. means that they don't know you're no longer seeing what they're saying yeah. and there is the block button but anyway we're saying you know that transition from the bbc to, to, to itv and the trolls you know had a field but it's been a year now. Yeah. How quickly well, has that gone? It's gone, well, and we've packed so much yeah. in. Yeah. It's been an absolutely brilliant year. We've done so much. I mean, you know, you were talking about covering the Scottish referendum. Mm. We were up there in Edinburgh for, mm. you know, the results of the vote, which, is, which was amazing, doing a four-hour programme there. I've been out to Kabul and to Kandahar reporting on, you know, the inauguration of a new mm. president of oh, Afghanistan. Wow.